Foresby rallies the troops. Wolverhampton Wanderers' Morton Foresby has urged his teammates to set themselves a target of winning all their remaining games, starting with West Ham on Sunday. Wolves are guaranteed a title if they win one more of their two last games of the season. And the central midfielder wants his team to take one more step towards the title at the London Stadium. I've got a team meeting with the boys here on Saturday morning, right before Arsenal face Crystal Palace. And I'm going to say to the boys, this is a big match in our pursuit of the title and winning it would do our chances the world of good. That would mean the point on the final day gives us the title. And everyone is agreeing and encouraged with what I've said. The boss is right, this is a massive match for us, so let's give our all out there to get the win. The body language is good, the team cohesion is fantastic, the morale is great and on this Saturday afternoon, Arsenal are at home to Crystal Palace. It should be a banker. Palace are basically safe, but this is the season where I said things would be different. If Arsenal fail to beat Crystal Palace and we win tomorrow, we are champions. And uh, Arsenal won 5-1, so uh, yep. Uh... <laughs> I mean, was, was it ever really in doubt? Arsenal with a 5 1 victory, they're back to the top of the table. They still have the far superior goal difference. We can't afford a loss in our remaining two, otherwise, the title is Arsenal's, as they'll definitely win at Vicarage Road on the final day. We need four points from six. Come on, Wolves, come on! After three cup final defeats in four years, all on penalties. You'd think you know what to expect from this Wolves team when it matters most. But I said this year things would be different. They've certainly felt that way. Our two games to go in the Premier League season. If Wolves pick up four points from six, they'll be Premier League champions. Question is, are we going to choke once again? What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 61. And yes, 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 as I mentioned there, I've told you all you need to know after Arsenal's win yesterday. Uh, as you can see, the 5-1 win over Crystal Palace have returned to top of the table, which means for our final two games, we need a win and a draw to win the title. The goal difference means that Arsenal will be champions and finish level on points. So... Four points from six is needed. Now, Arsenal's final game is a wet rock bottom, already relegated Watford and Vicarage Road, so that's a banker. So you know they're going to win that one. Our final two games, West Ham away and Leicester at home, neck and neck in the table, only separated by goal difference, both going for that final Europa Conference League spot. I'd, uh, I'd say we've got the tougher running, wouldn't you? So heading into the game, uh, i got to be honest, you can probably tell by my mood. I just, I feel like it's going to happen again. Like, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm resigned to it, but I just feel like it's going to happen again. I, I can't see us winning back to back, and I wouldn't be surprised if one of these games does end a loss. If that's the case, it is over. But on the back of the win on Thursday night, to be fair, overturning the deficit against Munchen Gladbach to reach the Europa League final. You know, that's confidence. That's a confidence booster right there. Let's see if it's enough for our team. So it's 4 2 3 1. Uan Isingal, Balfour is like Neri, Eric, Johan, and Aaron's, and Ward, Prowse, and Forsby through the middle. Jota and Nato are on the wings, with Wendia supporting Silva up top. Henderson, Big Chris, Williams, Cater, Jordan, Alter, and Count Jimenez make up our bench. And this is it, first of two. And I think this is the game where we'll stumble. But we can stumble and get a point, and I guess I'll be satisfied enough with that. Come on, Wolves. We've only lost one game at Molyneux all season long. That came to Everton in the Premier League. So I, I think I think against Leicester, at the very least, we'll get a point. I can't see us having our second defeat at home all season long on the final game of the Premier League season with the title on the line. I mean, listen, we've done some chokes in this series, but I can't I can't see that being the case. So yeah, I feel confident that we can get the result in that one, which means that tonight or today, I should say, yeah, we we can we can probably afford a draw and have destiny in our own hands on the final day, but a win would relieve so much pressure. We have made a decent start, with West Ham having a lot on the line themselves here. I guess it's going to be a case of who wants it more in this one. As Ben White, the right back, crosses, and Janssen heads wide. Still 0-0. No way does this finish as a stalemate. I'll probably take it, but I think someone's going to win this. Statistically speaking, it's been very even indeed. And that'll do it for a first half, a few chances. Now, I've got to be honest here, there's big temptation to gamble. Change the tactics, go to the Gigan press, risk it all, and try and spring West Ham by the element of surprise in the second half. 
I'm going to say we're not doing badly at all. Everyone needs to work hard or win this. And do you know what? With Buendia tired and not playing especially well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And this time I'll make sure I do take off <laughs> Buendia and, uh, and not Silva or Jimenez actually was, wasn't it? Um, in that game in Germany. So Buendia off of Jimenez. We're going to go 4 2 4. We'll keep our mentality on attacking. And I'm, I'm gambling. I'm gambling big time on this. But hey, if we can win this one, there's absolutely no way we'll surely lose to Leicester on the final day. Let's go for it. And as Unai chips it toward Prowse, first chance of the second half is going to come 11 minutes after the restart. Two walls. Jota finds NATO as the wingers link up. <gasps> Thought that was in. I thought it was in. Tell you what, we've looked decent in this second half. Another chance. Header away from the cross, but Warprowse gets it on the deck. And now Forsby, the captain, to Jota. Silva, Jota. <gasps> Raul Jimenez off the bench with goal number 21 after a lovely build up has just given us the lead in London. And we are 25 minutes away from being a point away from the title. But I still think West Ham are going to get a goal. Oh, what a block, Max Ahrens. What a block. Ahrens is bloody brilliant. I mean, literally, in recent episodes, I cannot stop singing the guy's praises. He's just been a monster all season long. 16 minutes, West Ham going for the leveller. The question is, can we hold on? I'm not sure. Buy your way, but only temporarily. Florian, backwards. Dennis Shirkin, Janssen. Oh, it's inches wide. Do I change mentality to positive? Do I start time wasting? I don't know. Do I push my wingers back? Do I take off silver and add an extra body in midfield? I don't know at this point. I really don't know. West Ham right now have got momentum on their side and we are trying to weather this storm and it's difficult. Lucas Moura rounds Forsby, gets on the run, drills it wide. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm taking off Silva and I'm bringing on some energy. Forsby's very tired, but I'm going to take off Fabio, pop him as part of our midfield trio. I'll leave Trincao and Jota where they are, but I'm going to bring on Cater. He'll be our final sub. Play him as a deep line playmaker and I'll change those two around and have Morton back in his traditional ball winning midfield role. I will change our mentality to positive as well and I think we'll also lower our tempo down and play a shorter passing directness. Okay, here we go. 13 minutes. 13 long minutes in London. Aaron's drink out. Nice dribble him. <gasps> I think we're going to do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trincao with the brilliant piece of dribble. Is that a nutbag? It will say it was. Offloads to the edge. JWP runs onto it. And as consistently as ever, he bangs one in from just outside the area. This time from open play. Walls are 2-0 up. I think the tactical change has worked. But there's still five and a half minutes to go. And if there's one thing you know about this Wolves team, it's that we throw things away often late on. What a miss by Lucas Mora. That wasn't even the highlight. This is the highlight. Oh my word. 2 misses in succession. And sh where are all these highlights coming from? Just get the game over with. Aaron's down the right, looking to beat his man and cross, which he does. Trincao loses out in the air, but Cater gets it back on the deck, and Forsby gives it straight back. We are so close. So close. And Cater's passing, his range of passing is unbelievable, man. This is what I brought him on for, to retain that possession and not give it away. JWP, Forsby. Fucking hell, if he would have made it 3 now, I would have gone mental. It's over. It's over. It's over. Wolves have gone top again. And we're three points clear with a game to go. I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. 
If we lose to Leicester, I am resigning directly after the game. If we lose match day 38 at home, only our second loss at home all season long, and Arsenal win it away at Vicarage Road, which of course they'll do, I'm. if that happens, I'm resigning. I am literally resigning and I'm finished. Oh, you are having a laugh. You are having a laugh. I mean, obviously, I know if we were to do this, we'd do it the hard way. It's the Wolves way. It's the FM21 way. But, Johan, bro, fractured skull, done for the season and is summer. Oh, mate, I fucking love Johan. I'm, I'm so big on this kid. That will see his bravery decrease as it always does from a serious injury. But this guy, honestly... When you think about the signings we made and the reason why it's felt different this year, Unai a monster between the sticks, going to win the Golden Glove, Max Aaron's unbelievable, but Johan, my favourite signing of the lot, I just consistently brilliant at 19 years old. Love the guy to pieces. they will miss the final day and the final. Don't know how to feel. I really don't, like, I just, I feel just so, like, calm. Don't get me wrong, calm, but, um, don't know, just, it's, it's like the moment is now upon us, and I'm like, well, all we need is a point, surely it's gonna happen, but then you think about three straight penalty shootout losses in finals, including one to a championship Brentford side in the FA Cup, I don't know, I don't know how to feel, but I'll say, all we need is a single point from our final match to become champions. I encourage you all to make the most of this amazing opportunity. This is it. Wolves are one point from the Premier League. It's not going to happen, surely. I mean, it can't. It can't. Like, it can't happen. Surely not. Leicester are behind West Ham on goal difference in the race for that final Europe Conference League spot. They must win. Because I think West Ham will beat Bournemouth with nothing to play for. Watford, as we know, rock bottom, already relegated. Arsenal, that's a banker for them. So once again, we've got the tougher run-in, as we've been mentioning before. But, surely, a draw is all I'm asking for. I don't want to play the game because I can see it happening. I can see us losing. I don't want to play. Fuck it. Come on. Get on with it, bro. Come on. Right. 4-2-3-1. Uno in goal. Back four is like Nuri, Eric, and our big Chris will come in for the injured yard of Aaron's at right back. Once again, Wall, Prowse, and Forsby through the middle. With Jota and Nato on the wings and Buendia once again supporting Silver up top. On the bench, Henderson, McTominay, Williams, Kate, Azure, Dow, Trink, Alan Jimenez as well. I, I want to just change random things and delay it for as long as I can, but I can't. I can't. Come on, Wolves. Leicester's team is really good. It's an excellent side, to be honest. There's some really great players in there. They've kept hold of some of the really good youngsters as well. James Madison is still there. Wilfred Ndidi is still there. Uh, James Justin is still there. So, yeah, very good side. Um, but surely, surely you would say on paper ours is better. And surely you'd say the stakes are far higher for Wolverhampton Wanderers. At home, which has been a fortress all season long, we've only lost once in all competitions. And today we only need a point. NATO has the first shot on target. Good save, still no no. 20 minutes in, no goal updates at Vicarage Road, still no no. Can you imagine if Watford on the final day with rock bottom and relegated prevented Arsenal from winning? But at the moment, they're doing that. We're closing out the first half. It's still nil-nil here, which again means we, means that regardless of what happens to Vicarage Road to be champions. And I think that's going to do it for the first half. I keep looking at the top left and then at the bottom right. It's still nil-nil in both games. <laughs> Pretty extraordinary thinking about it. Well, our whole season really has been built on rock-solid defence. So in a game where we only need a point, a clean sheet, another one of those for Unai, and we'll be champions at the moment. We're doing that. There is a highlight, six and a half minutes after the restart, and it's going to fall to Wolves. Emmy Buendia crosses, for Fana heads away, and Big Chris picks it up and pops it out wide to the left back. Cross to the back stick, Nato's on the end of it, wasn't going to shoot from a tired angle, but he'll cross himself. Silver! Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> yes! 
Fabio Silva, I have slagged him off more than anyone else this season. It's a bit of a fortunate goal, his first shot deflected right back into his path. But he scored a goal that put us in front and surely, take a deep breath with me. Surely, Wolves are going to be champions, Tielemans, to Christian Eriksen. And now a nice ball by the Belgian finds Luke Thomas who beats Max Ahrens, plays it back to the Dane. And now Thomas again to Tielemans, the Belgian bending on, oh it's fucking brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Well, sometimes you just have to tip your hat and say fair play. Our defence has been solid all game. We haven't given them a sniff. But sometimes all they need is just one slight gap to take aim from range. And Leicester are back on level terms. As things stand, we're still going to be champions. But the cushion is what we want. JWP, Morton Forsby, the captain, back to Max Ahrens and now Buendia plays a 1-2 with the right back as the former Canaries link up and now Nato slid down the right, wins one in, silver shot blocks, this time won't get a second bite of the cherry, Leicester clear, still nil nil at Vicarage Road, what is going on? 20 minutes to go here and as things stand we're doing enough regardless but at the moment, I, I can't get over that. Well, we've got a minute and a half to go and I'm going to have to change to 3D real quickly. We're now into stoppage time. Oh, Arsenal have scored late. Okay. All right. Um, right. Arsenal have scored late. We're in stoppage time. It's still carrying on. Wolves are fucking champions! It's <laughs> I'm completely lost for words. Unai's doing cartwheels. Morton's lifting the silverware. I'm applauding their fans for the most ridiculous amount of patience I've ever seen. Three final losses on penalty shootouts. Look at the fucking XG. <laughs> if we didn't get at least a point in this game, I would have been... Well, I said it pre-game. I would have resigned. I would have had enough. I would have just said, you know what? Fuck the Europa League final. We clearly can't win trophies. More than man in a match on match day 38. Congratulations, boys. Enjoy these moments of glory. You deserve it. Wolverhampton Wanderers are Premier League champions. Well, Zaniolo's late goal did give me concern. I'll be honest. Because of <laughs> all the late goals we've conceded in the save. I, ju I just thought there's still that chance. And it hasn't really sunk in, to be honest. It hasn't really sunk in. I mean, I said we'd have to do it the hard way. And we certainly did. But. It's over. We had the best defensive record in the division. And we're champions. <laughs> we finally won a trophy. Uno with a golden glove, 22 clean sheets in the end. Um, I have to say, you know, I've mentioned it so many times, but after losing Ruben Nevers to, to make this team so much stronger with the signings, we uh, we brought in, uh, obviously, the big three being Unai, Max, and Johan as well. Wolves win title with fewest points by a champion. Wolves total of 84 points is a new record low to win the Premier Division title. What? That's not true. That's not even close to being true. There's multiple teams that have won the title with less than 84 points. Several. Leicester back in 2016 only had 80 or 81, I think. That's rubbish. It must, that must only mean for the past five years in the save, surely. And that is true, to be fair. The second loss was Liverpool in season one. Yeah, that's right. And even if that was the case, I don't care. We're fucking champions, mate. You ain't taking that away from me. And more on my team of the season. <laughs> 
Morton Forsby and Johan and Max and Unai and Silver as well. But mainly Morton, team of the year. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if they would personnel that Morton's not there. Oh, well, I'm, I'm pleased to be there, but I want Morton on there as well. One day you'll join me, bro. One one day you'll join me on that favoured personnel. No doubt about it. Right, that's it, I think. Um, that's it. We're done. We're done. It's such an anticlimactic ending because, I'll be honest here, how much leads what we're Scarly for? 59 mil. God barely gets a game for us, but he is a wonder kid. Um, it, it feels really anticlimactic because, I'll be honest, guys, I thought we were going to lose the title today. And then, obviously, the big one would then be the Europa League final. But now we've won the silverware. This game has less importance than I thought it would. But hey, listen, if we could end the season after five, after four years with no trophies and then a league and European double, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I think I'd be pretty pleased with that. <laughs> after all the years, I said things would be different, and they have been. Wolves, Premier League champions, and the season is not over. Yeah, but that was this episode of the FM Reboot, guys. Big fan, Chris, if you enjoyed If you have, then please drop a like. Much love to you. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the season finale, where Wolves are going for their second trophy in the season, let alone the save. Europa League final against Bayer Leverkusen. Absolutely buzzing. I can't believe it. it's finally over.